but then we just go like earlier later. The comedy show over here. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys can see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I call him Mr. Yeah. Bean. <laughs> Give me your water, I want to wash my face. <laughs> Okay, guys, hold it down, please. Let's get to it. Good morning. I don't even pretend, okay? Hold it down over your head and let go of it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to do a squat, please. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You're going to hop in your spot. Hop in your squat, just hop, 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 one squat, okay? Down. You can hold it out, you can just drop it down, so whichever you want to do, whatever you're comfortable. You just start, basically. I'm doing about three hops, I guess, hop, hop, hop. I just want you to move a little bit, that's all I'm doing. Yeah. The blood move. A few more. And stand up again, hold it down. Actually, from your front, bring it all the way to your left side, take it out from the right side, and rotating. So moving, you smooth it. You go one side, come out from the other side. Three and a figure eight. Then move to the left, back over to the right, and then I'll go to the right. You're just trying to work on shoulder mobility here. Of course, always core activation or support. You can keep your knees relaxed because your core is engaged. Whenever I think about it, I think pelvic floor lift too. That's really important. I want your pressure system to lift, not to sink. And then your elbows as straight as you can. So uh, if you can try to work on elbows straight, and then you can get the motion a little faster, go down and around. We're going to do four of the high knees now. Do I need my dowel? No, you don't need your dowel. No, yeah. you... or you not. Off the so, four the high knees. And then hold it down again, or your head, we bring it down, and then we're gonna squat. So squatting back to the squat, bring it down over your head, and bring it back up, and just stand. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, 
ได้แทนอีเลฟเอ็นสิบสี่สิบสี่15 16 17 18 19 20 when the butt kicker after this when the 40 of those 40 butt kicker Grab the dowel again. We're gonna do lunge and turn and twist. Do lunge, twist, and come back out and then go. Again. We're gonna do ten of those, and then we're gonna do ten with the squat in the lunge. Spread the squat. That's eight, nine. Ten, ten more to go with two squats. Eleven. So in the twist, I'm doing my split squats too. Don't let your arm drop. Lift your arms up a little bit. And I'm also trying to create a torque on the staff, so I'm trying to break it in half, and that helps to keep a nice. Opening in the shoulder joint called torque. So she tried to break it in half and a slide pulling it apart too. So pulling it apart and then snapping it in half. Can you turn off this? I must can. But let's say two more. Two more now. One more. When I put the dial down, or whatever you're using it, we're gonna jump over the side to side. Again, same for the. Grab the dowel over your head. When you drop a squat, quick drop a squat, no jump, drop a squat. But when you can even kind of like leg it off the ground, to do that catch. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. When you want to toe tap it, toe tap the dial or what you call it, going for 60. And then we're going to hold it down, stand mountain. Pose. Mm -hmm. 
flex together, arm body lifting, pushing the Tao away, and then pulling with your left arm all the way down with the right arm, your right arm resisting, but let the left arm win. Pull it and pull it and pull it, other side. Bring your armpits in and up. I was trying to create that uh, shoulder joint open. Other side again. Your armpits in and up without arching your back. So trying to separate shoulder motion with spinal motion, using the hollow body for stability. You're not using extension of the spine. You're still kind of in a hollow body position. Other side. But if you were rocking on the ground, the shoulder torque, the move, movement only comes from the shoulder joint, not through extension. If you can separate those two motions. Back to center, one more time, other side. Other side. Back to center again. We're going to do mountain climbers. This is very mountain. Boy, 60. When you're done, you're going to sit on the ground with the dowel in your head and in your hand. You're going to do Russian twist. Russian twist, we're going to do, but holding it for one second, one pause. Twenty of these. And then I'm going to do bicycle crunches. Forty. Okay. Go one. I'm so sore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good God. Hold it down. We're going to come up, cross your toes with the down. We're gonna hold our spine as straight as we possibly can, and then reach and pass that toes even with your elbow or possibly. I repeat again. My quads are so sore, guys. Stand up, jump up, roll back. Hold it down if you can. If you don't, don't worry about it. 
Go one. That's still one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Squat down with the dowel in your hand. You're gonna keep the ball one side of the dowel to the ground. And then grab it with both hands, extend both on forward. Now we're gonna squat down and come back up. Okay. Go two, three, four. It's like our pull down team days, hey guys. Five. Six. Who says we're watching? Seven. <laughs> eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirty. Fourteen. Try not to lift the bum up first. 15. No butt wings. Just push up 60, to the legs. Shoulders and hips stay in the line. 70. 18. 19. And 20. We're going to go on our stomach all the down, of course. And then I'm going to lift the arm up and. <laughs> See if we can keep forehead actually on the ground, arm of the ground, elbows are straight. Hold it. Arms up and all the way back as far as you can and come back forward. Go one, two, three, four. Right there. Work on nose breathing. Five. Six. Keep your jaw soft. Just pound on the top of your palate. Seven. Teeth apart. Lift Eight. together. Nine. Ten. Put the dial down. Come up to high for nine. Close. Go on your stomach. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab the dial, extend your arm forward. Bring the dial over your head, reach back, back, back. Now reach for your heels two times. One, two. Don't let the dial touch your body. And back down again. Go two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. High plank pose again. You come in. Gonna jump forward, jump back, chest to the ground. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab it down. We're going to do side lunges. Right after that, we're going to do side lunge from a squad, one leg at a time. So I'll tell you what to do. Don't worry about it. For now, side lunges. Hold it down, whatever is more proper for you. Go one. <clears throat> Two. Three. I'm going to hold it over my head because I'm trying not to fall forward. Four. Spinning Five. my arm pits towards me and then up to the ceiling. Six. Seven. Eight. I'm trying to work on back extension as well. Nine. My shoulder extension and mobility. Ten. We got that. Now stand up. Want a deep squat as you can. Now we're going to do one leg out without coming out and shoot it up. And then going back into it and then other leg. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> ten. Stand up, lift your heels up, go and ball over your foot, down over your head. Now we're going to squat. Heels up, don't touch them. Go one. You can bring your knees together too. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. In the activity on the shoulders as well. Focuses on the shoulder blade. I'm going to try the needle. The needle. You're too overly and tired. Try the needle. Go one, <laughs> two, three. Reach up. Four. What I'm trying to do here, some people drop your hip, but I'm focusing on twisting from navel up. Trying to keep my hips stacked, just working on thoracic twist, not allowing my lumbar to twist. It doesn't like twisting. It's a more flexor extensor. Rotation happens at thorax. So from belly button up, try to create that rotation. Include your head and neck in the rotation. Other side. And you can counteract the rotation by pushing the top hip back as you rotate forward. Really want to accent the reach. So my top hip is reaching backward as my thoracic cage ribs reaching forward. So basically uniformity is in feeling, not on the movement. You all should feel the same amount of activation. <laughs> Thoracic motion increases shoulder mobility too. So they work together. 
A lot of the shoulder muscles go into the thoracic cage, abdominals. So you need to keep that thoracic mobility in order to keep your shoulders mobile. We're going to do Superman lift one more time. This time we're going to twist the left and right. So one side. Do I need my object? Yeah, I grab that, whatever you have, both. Lifting up and turning. Nice. Back to the center, lowering down, lifting up, turning other side. Beautiful. Again, here, nice shoulder mobility with thoracic torque. Try to keep both your hip points anchored to the ground, especially on the rotation. So you don't want any rotation on the lumbar, the low back. Just lifting from navel up, include your head and neck as you rotate. So the same hip point is anchoring to the floor as I rotate. There's always a method of the madness, you know? Mountain to lie, man. Of course. Of course. Forward. Let's do it, peeps. When the sit ups, simple sit ups with the Tao, of course, yeah. Simple, I guess, is meaning, meaning back feet on the floor. Extended, then you can actually reach. Go, come on. Extended. Go, go what? Simple. These are simple. Two. <sighs> Don't let your toes wiggle outside. Keep them straight or slightly in. Push your heels out. You send back of your knees to the ground constantly. See if you can bring your four little toes towards you. Press your big toe away from you. You heard me right, Spencer. Get on it. Foot ground, foot ground. <laughs> See the benefits of a dowel is you can massage your feet. Right? If you can't reach, well, too bad for you, Barry. Can you reach? Yeah, he's on his knee. Give this hold a little massage. And even spin it around to the calves. Right? And then you can go back down. Okay, 10 more. Go. One. Quick. We got things to do. Two. Okay, no time for massage, guys. We got things to do. Three. Let's speed it up. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. High plank pose, shoulder tap. Hold for two seconds or two count at least. Is it one Mississippi? At least one Mississippi. How many? Ten. Next, we're going to do that left. So think about weight where you put them, found them, bring them quickly. Let's do it. Ten you can't depth. carry it. You can't use it. Ten deadlift. Then we're going to do fifty high knees. Fifty high knees. Knee should pass your head bone. That's a minimum requirement.
And then we're going to do 60 mountain climbing. And then we're going to do biceps curl. You don't have to do lunges. You can do it if you want, but. What is this? Biceps. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next, we're going to do Turkish get up. Next, keep going, twenty. We're going for twenty. Let's start from the ground. If you are there already, then you don't know think it works. When do two left, two right, that's it. Let's stay with one side, two times. So my right hand's up, my right knee's bent. I'm gonna look at my thumb knuckle the whole time, trying to keep everything stacked right down into my shoulder blade. That's what I'm gonna to try to do. Whether I can do it, come up, nice high plank, tuck your knee in, still looking up is the tricky part, push up, push up. Now I'm still looking at that knuckle, lunge back, down, top of the foot on the floor, reach back, work on that hip extension, still hip extension, lower the hip, drop the forearm, Drop the upper arm and down. Keep going. One more. Up. Up. Nice extension. Tuck extension. Still on extension. Press up. Whew. Reverse lunge. Drop the net back knee. Top of the foot. Nice extension here. Hip extension. Lower the hip. Drop the elbow. And down. Okay. Other side, left knee bend, left arm up, rock to the elbow, to the hand, lift the hip, get that extension. Still trying to keep the stack, draw up, and up. Nice Tadasana, lunge. reverse lunge, knee, top of the foot, hand, extend, extend, drop the hip. Forearm, shoulder. One more. Come up on the hand. Hip extension first. Tuck the knee. Extend. Rise up. Stand tall. Reverse lunge. Back knee down. Top of the foot down. Reach back. Rise up. Lower. Lower. And lower. And Shavasana. I think we're doing it again, maybe. Shoulder tap. Shoulder tap. Ready? Don't forget your Mississippis. I think we're doing 10 all together. Three, four, five, <coughs> six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Dead left. Morning hug, eh? Don't forget to hug yourself every day. One, two. You're your own hero. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fine. 50, five, zero. 
mountain climber right after this 60. I have to bring me the opposite elbow. Biceps. Where you work on your breath. Exhale, press up. I think we're doing 20. This is 12. 14. 16. 18. Now, if your station is looking like mine, fix it. I don't want to kill ourselves. So, right knee bend, right arm up, look at that knuckle, come up, really work on that shoulder stability, hip extension. Two each side. in each position for at least a count or a breath just to gain my stability. I'm a slow and steady kind of girl. So whatever kind of character you are, make sure you honor that. I think that's two. That's good enough. We're going to swing. Get out of swing. Four only. So grab a proper weight. You don't have to feel about who's band, who's cat. Just joking. That's animal cruelty. Unless your cat likes it. Care about a kid? They don't mind it. Okay. Four swing. I'm going to opt for Four goblet the squat. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to set uh, four push up. We're going to put our hand on it. Elevated one off. Four swing. Four goblets. And then four push ups. Four push ups. You can alternate your arm for one. Two. Same thing, repeating it. Nice form to come in and out of. Over and over and over. As you transition in and out, make sure you're setting up yourself properly.
Me going, me going. Just four minutes to go, just in case you wonder how far we go. challenge your weight this is you know it's really only four reps we're changing up the muscle group Two minutes. Two minutes. It's looking guys. A professional. Keeps me going is only four reps. If it was one. one more higher, I think I would have quit. Only four. It's so doable, right? Okay. Challenge the shoulder range on this one. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. That doesn't mean water break. That's it. Time is over. Time's over. But one more to go, and that's it. When the jumping lunges, when the depths, and then we're gonna do racking and the stepping up and burpees. So we are starting with 24 jumping lunges. Lovely. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, oh, shoot, 23, 24. Wait, we go down six. What do we do? Depth, we're gonna do. Yeah. What do we do, guys? 18. 
Don't wait, guys. Go. Don't wait. Working on shoulder torque as you push up. Eighteen. I'm going to step up right after. Okay. I am going to uh, 12 up for my beautiful pink. I'm doing opposite leg to weight. Alternate. Alternate. Sure. We are four here. I don't know what number you got. Five. Six. Seven. Two more. Bed piece six. And one more time. Jumping lunges, 24. Let's push it, guys. You're getting tired now, you're finding excuses around the burgers, around you to just stop it. Farther your legs is, there more load on your arm. Is it better? No, not, not better or worse. It's just what you can do. You need to. I'm taking time to torque at the top. Spin my biceps forward. Yeah. Twelve of these all together. Look at each side. I'm practicing the clean. So in my daily activities, you know, I learned how to lift with my legs. So it's good muscle memory, good to get the brain aware of how to protect the spine, using the limbs to lift, core. That's it. Piece. 
One more. One more run. No, let's go home. We're going to do yoga. Arms up, palm together. Let's do a workout, guys. To your left side, let's stay there. Thank you, Need. You're welcome, Kelly. Back to your center, go other yeah. side. Back to your center. Touch your toes. Just be there and just get comfortable in this pose. Breathe. <clears throat> Arms on the ground. Take your legs. Go down all the way. Come back up all the way. Up dog. Exit dog. Bring your right leg in front, his arms up, palm together. Keep on breathing. Arms open for you two. Reach out, hold, breathe. Front elbow on your knee, back on reaching up. Look down on the ground, arms on the ground, take your leg back. Go gently down all the way, come up all the way to up dog. Take a down dog, please. Other leg in front, arms up, arm together. Arms open for your two. Front elbow on your knee, back arm reaching up. Look down on the ground, palms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up to again hand. Exhale, down dog. Right leg off the ground, rise it up. Bring your shin down. Walk forward with your arm. Find the place you can handle it or you like to go there. Take it back to down dog again, please. Keep the other leg up. Bring your shin down again. Walk forward.
Back to the dog again, please. Bend your knees, knees down. We're going to do cat pose. Rise your back up all the way. Back to your center. Back to cat pose again. Don't come up. Back to your center again. Come back up to cat pose. Back to your center again. If you can draw your ribs, your abdomen up under your ribs, you should go to cat pose. One tip of your fingers, just increase that roundness, bring some, send some energy to the tailbone, basically. Talk the lowest part of your lower stomach in, bring your tailbone toward your nose. Require a lot of attention to do that and hold it. Now, while you're doing that, holding it, sit on your heels. Come back up, then back to neutral pose, and then back again to cat pose. You're on the tip of your finger, tilt your pelvis, bring the tailbone forward, and then sit on your heel. Or go toward your heel if you're sitting too much. Back to your center again. Arms on the ground, arms extended, sit on your heels. Walk to your left side with your arms. Hips that say square forward, don't turn the body. Back to your center. Walk to the other side, please. Back to your center again. Be done for now. Ask your question, make comments. Like us, do us. Thumbs up.